Hello, I'm Rebecca Jane, and today I'm going to take you through getting started as a representative, which is the new Avon appointing and training material for recruiting independent Avon representatives in the UK. In order to make this training as beneficial for you as we can, the best practice is for you to have a copy open as you watch. You can then make some notes as we go. You will notice with the three calls, the appointments, the first order call and the second order call, that there are some common pieces for you to close with. Top tips, essential information and information on President's Club and sales leadership. The beauty of this video is it's available to you 24-7, so if there's a piece of any call that you're not sure of, come back and watch again. Let's start with the first section of the book, The Appointment. To make your business successful, it's always essential to establish a relationship with your prospect, what's prompted them to start their independent Avon business, and what they are hoping to gain from the experience. You do this by having a very informal chat when you first arrive. Really listen to what they're telling you, as it's information you can revisit at a later time. To get the conversation going, why not find out a little bit about them, and find out how David does this with Ros. Hi, Ros. Hi, David. Great to meet you again. Thanks for inviting me round and taking the time to do so. Not a problem. What a stunning property you have here. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. How long have you been here? We've been here about six months now. We were mm. really lucky to find it. It's very convenient for schools, nurseries, and also film my husband where he works as well. Okay. And you mentioned nursery. The little girl you had when we met in town the other day. That's Lisa. Ah, and how old's Lisa? She's four. Oh, she's yep. absolutely beautiful. Thank you very much. And I've got Anthony. He's eight as well. Okay. You mentioned your husband, Phil. That's right. Yeah, what yeah. does Phil do? He works at the motorcycle shop on the industrial estate. Oh, yes, I know the one. Yeah. Ah, oh, fantastic. So, it ticks an awful lot of boxes then, doesn't it? Because it does. Like you say, you've got the schools, got the nursery, got everything from there. Absolutely fantastic. One thing I just spotted, when you were in town, mm -hmm. you were very busy with the children. But Always. you still had time to stop and chat with me. I did. And do you know why? Because you stopped me with one of these, David. Ah. I love Avon as a brand. But since moving here, I've lost my Avon representative. Oh, well, let's see if we can sort a few things out on that. If you could. Now, with the brochure, mm -hmm. you get to look through. Yeah. How would you like to see some products? Yeah. I've just got a couple in my bag. I'm just going to pop them out. We'll come back to them at a later date. But mm -hmm. whilst I'm doing that, just tell me a little bit more about yourself. OK. Um, I work part time at a doctor's surgery just around from the supermarket. Right, yeah. I've been there about four years and I'm a receptionist. Yeah. Um, obviously, you've got the children, Anthony um, and Lisa. Um, so that's me, pretty much. So a busy, busy person. Very much so. Now, I'm going to ask a strange question now. Mm -hmm. Spare time? If only, David. Mm. We've got Anthony at Cubs. And I also help out at Lisa's nursery, which is great fun. Um, obviously, Phil's work keeps us busy as well, because sometimes we have to go and help out there. So all in all, I'm afraid spare time comes at a premium. Well, I'm always looking for busy people. If you want something done, ask a busy person. So what I haven't told you about is a little bit about myself. Mm -hmm. So I'll do that, and then I'll come on to a little bit more detail about the earnings opportunity with okay. Avon. So I'm David. I'm an Avon Area Sales Manager. Been with the company now just over nine years and absolutely love it. But I started just like you. Oh, okay. Yeah. What I wanted to do was go and see my best friend get married. He decided to get married in Vegas. What a destination, it though. It was stunning. But the only challenge was I needed £1,500. So mm -hmm. how was I going to do that? Started with Avon and I started in the August. Mm -hmm. And by the following September... So 13 months? Yep, 13 months. I got the £1,500. Mm. I earned it on the plane, over there, and of all places, it was the Bellagio where he got married. With the fountains in Ocean's Eleven. With the fountains, oh. the Ocean Eleven, the whole thing. And it's as stunning as it looks. It was absolutely a fabulous day. And it was all down to Avon. It was really, really great. Anyway, enough about me. Let's get back to you. Mm -hmm. Let's get you started. OK. So, first things first, we have this book here. OK. This is your book. Uh, everything within that tells you about uh, building your business mm -hmm. with Avon. Um, we're going to have at least three meetings, so I'll come and visit you three times. Each time I visit you, we'll go through a different section of the book. Um, I'll be with you every single step of the way. OK? Yep. Sound good? Sounds great. Can't wait to get started. OK, let's get going. As you saw, David found out rather a lot of information about Roz without mentioning any details about minimum order values, high order values and administration fees. By actively listening to Roz, David will now be able to sell the benefits of Avon's earning opportunity to match Roz's needs. 
Roz, who was still a prospect at this point, wasn't past the book until towards the end of the pre-interview. She can now write down all the details as she and David work through the appointment together. Now is the time to ask your prospect to open the book to page two about us. Avon is passionate about the causes it supports. This page is for you to share with a prospect and give them information about the Breast Cancer Crusade and domestic violence campaign. Where possible, and as an additional way to show pride in product, always wear a Crusade pin. Now that you've introduced Avon as a company to your prospect, take the time now to share with them the welcome message from Linda Clayton Evans, Executive Director of UK Sales. Now is your time to use the information you've discovered about your prospect. For example, the first statement is flexible hours. We know from the first role play that Roz works part-time in a surgery. Also with having two children, she joked about having no spare time. Therefore, the ability to choose the hours that she works will probably appeal to her. Ask your prospect to read this page and then tick which statements appeal to them the most. After the last statement, Demonstrate at least one product that you have with you, ideally a key product from the current brochure. For you as the appointer, this is one of the most crucial pages, as it will give you an indication as to how big the prospect wants to make their independent Avon business. Outline that they'll have the opportunity to earn every three weeks, then ask them if they've had the chance to think about how much that they would like to earn. What will they spend their earnings on? Drill down on the goal. For example, if they say they'd like a new outfit for a friend's wedding, what outfit are they looking for? A dress maybe, what colour, accessories. They might need shoes, a handbag, a hat and so on. Get them to write both answers down in their book. If their goals are bigger, make a mental note of this and then refer back to it when you get to talk about sales leadership at a later date. When anyone is offered an earning opportunity, a standard question is, well what's in it for me? Now is your chance to talk through the discounts attached to both the minimum order value, MOV, and the higher order value, HOV. Direct the prospect to write down the relevant amounts in the boxes provided. Most importantly, now is your opportunity to explain about the administration fee that is charged in their first two campaigns. However, reassure them that there is nothing to pay today. The closing statement on this page will lead into a conversation about Smart Start. For some people who start their independent Avon business, this could be their first experience of direct selling. As such, they may have some objections. Take a look at the post-it notes here to help you overcome them. As you enjoy working with Avon, now's the time to share this with your prospect. As you did on the previous page, talk through the benefits of being an independent Avon representative, getting them to tick as confirmation that you've explained each one and they've understood it. Ask the prospect to write in the relevant amount in order to receive a free delivery. Explain that you'll be leaving a minimum of 20 copies of each brochure for their first and second campaign. Now is a great time to revisit Smart Start and discuss the amounts needed at each stage to qualify for the rewards available to them. At this point of the call, you need to give the prospect the opportunity to ask any questions they may have before completing the appointment. It could be that here is when you'll get a chance to use some of the techniques we covered earlier for overcoming objections. Once they're happy to proceed, if the Becoming a Representative application hasn't already been completed, ask them to go online and complete it. Remind them that you will need to see two forms of identification for them, one of them being photographic ID, both of them to contain the current address. Log into the lead section of your website, verify that you've seen the ID and complete the appointment. Don't forget to give the new independent Avon representative their account number, which they can write down on page 15. Please also take this time to direct them to write down details of the administration fee. In their own time, it is also advised that they follow the link to the important information online. Highlight to them the URL on the page. Now is a good opportunity to remind your independent Avon representative about their first order credit limit, which will have been communicated to them. 
another new team member, well done. Congratulate them on taking the first step to a brighter future by becoming an independent Avon representative. Without customers, no business can survive. Your new team member needs your support and direction to show them how and where to find customers. For some people, thinking about who they can sell to will come naturally. Others may need a little bit of direction. What about asking them to look in their mobile phone? How many friends and followers do they have on social network sites? To begin with, let them start to fill out the list themselves. Get them to write down everyone they feel that they can show a brochure to. Now for the hard bit. At this point, you need to remain quiet. Let's see how David handled it. Welcome to the team, Ros. Thank you, David. I know you're going to be absolutely fantastic. I'm really excited. Excellent. When we first spoke, I mentioned about names. Yeah, uh, potential customers, you said, start thinking about them. Absolutely right. Have you had a chance to do so? Yeah, I've got some names in mind. OK, brilliant. Now, I know you've got your book open already. That's mm -hmm. page nine. So what I'd like you to do is just write all the names you can think of. Yeah. Right the way down the list there. Mm -hmm. OK. Whilst you're doing that, I've just got a couple of things I need to just download on the laptop. And we'll come and have a look at them. OK. Okay, Roz, 22 names, well done. I know, but it's a table of 50, David. Ah, yeah, well, let's see if we can't build on that. Okay. So the first part, did you put all your neighbours down? Only the ones I know. Um, I wasn't sure what to do about the ones where I know the dog's name, but I don't necessarily know my neighbour's name. Okay. Or, you know. Okay, not a problem. Put the ones down you do know yep. now, mm -hmm. and then just write neighbour okay. underneath that. And as of when you do find their name out, just pop that in. Yeah. Is that okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. What I've spotted is your beautiful nails. I Thank trust you. I have to go to Nail Bar. I've got an appointment in uh, about four or five days, actually. OK. So can I approach the Nail Bar? Most definitely. OK. Do you go to the Nail Bar on your own? Or? No, I go with Debbie. She always comes with me. We go for a coffee afterwards. A bit of a catch-up. So um, I'm guessing I could treat the coffee shop like the Nail Bar. Absolutely right. Don't forget to put Debbie's name down. No. She wouldn't let me forget, trust me. <laughs> Now, I'd put work down, but i just put it down as one group. Right. But I haven't put Phil's work down. There's only one girl there. OK. So, you know, big burly men, motorcycles. OK. Not sure how it's going to sit. Let's just think that through. The yeah. young lady that works there, she may have some friends. She might want to show the brochure. But the big burlies that work there, they will have girlfriends, possibly yeah. wives. I've met some of them. We've had them over for barbecues. Absolutely. OK. Put that down there. Just had another thought. Anthony, you mentioned cubs. Oh, I've forgotten the mums. Every Wednesday. Yeah. Wait for the boys to come out. Absolutely. So can you see now, Ros, as yep. your day unfolds, there are so many opportunities presenting themselves. There's Lisa's you're... nursery. Yep. OK, yeah, I get where it goes now. OK, pop that down from there. Mm -hmm. Absolutely fantastic. OK. Right. Now, I just want to come back track a little bit there. Um, you mentioned that you didn't know all of your neighbours. Mm. OK. What you can actually do is we can allocate some homes in the village here to you. Yeah. You can actually drop the brochure through the door, knock the door, introduce yourself, okay. and get to know your neighbours. Yeah, yeah? that sounds fine. So we can do that. So we'll allocate some roads to you there within the village, get that part done. OK, I can take the dog out. That's fine. Easy job. Just one thing I would point out on that, though, is we entrust those homes to you. Mm -hmm. But Avon, we pride ourselves on customer service. We really want to give all of our customers the opportunity to see a brochure every single campaign. OK. So start that off is great. If in the future, for whatever reason, perhaps Avon wasn't for you, if you could just let me know, because then I can come and help you and I just find a replacement, because the last thing we want to do is all your hard work building your customer base, we want to give them the opportunity to see a brochure. No, that's not a problem, David. I could do that. OK, absolutely fantastic. One other question I've got. Facebook. Do you have 300 one? people. 300, absolutely brilliant. But not all of them I see regularly. OK, just hold that thought, because before I leave today, what I want to do is show you another earning opportunity using your Facebook. OK. OK. 
Right, so we've got, Karki, how many more names have we got down there? Quite a few now, haven't we? We have, we've got a nice big list for me. Okay, so you're going to show the brochure to those people, but mm -hmm. what I want you to do now is look down that list of names there, yeah. and put a tick next to anyone who you think might want to take advantage of the opportunity that you are today. Okay. Does anybody spring to mind? Um, well, there's Debbie, who I go to the nail salon with. Okay. Um, there's the young girl at Phil's work. Her yeah. name's Selena. Righty ho. So I'll tick her name as well. Yep. And then there's Annie, who runs Lisa's Nursery. Okay. Just tell me a little bit more about Debbie there. Um, she's a mum from the school, yep. same school as Anthony. Um, she doesn't work at the moment, and she's got quite a big family. Okay. Let's just look at the back of the book there. Yep. You'll see there's a tear-off slip. That's okay. just open up. What I'd like you to do is just pop the names down. Mm -hmm. Do you have telephone numbers? Yeah, I'll get my mobile in a sec. Okay. I'll let you have those. Right, we'll pop the numbers down. And... Shall we give them a call now, just to see if they're interested? Yep, that's fine. OK, let's do that. OK. Here is where you now access DTMA and request some territory for your new independent Avon representative. Once you have agreed on the territory, show them the report so they can write the information down in their Getting Started book, in the table on page 10. You'll have noticed in the roleplay for building a customer list, David advised Ros for every campaign, each customer and house receives a brochure. How about we ban the word re-canvas on appointment? It does, however, apply to established representatives with territory. If you notice from your reports on DTMA that they are underperforming, then they will need to re-canvas. However, with new representatives, by setting the expectation from the start that each home receives a brochure until the homeowner says, no thank you, everyone's a winner. For more business building tips, highlight the URL to your independent Avon representative, which you will find underneath the table and encourage them to visit it in the next coming week. There are many business tools to support the new independent Avon representative. So as not to overwhelm them in their first week, best practice is to only tell them about what they'll need initially. Start with the brochure, highlight offers and new products, show how to flag pages. Once you've discussed the brochure, get your new team member to write down in the Getting Started book which product they're going to promote to their potential customers. How much could they potentially earn by selling to X number of customers? Now would be another perfect opportunity for you to demonstrate some other products you have. Another way of highlighting offers is to use the customer order slip. Why not complete one in front of your new team member, with them completing one at the same time? Talk through the calling book, explaining how valuable it is, again setting the expectation that is used as you will be asking to see it each time that you meet. In the second role play, Building a Customer List, David said he would show Roz a way to get selling before he left. Ask your new team member to get her account number, which she wrote down earlier on page 15. Guide her how to register her Avon account and log in. Pub, the personal online brochure, is another fantastic way for independent Avon representatives to sell to their customers. David discovered during their chat at the beginning of the call that Ross was on Facebook. By doing the same thing, you will be able to show your new team member where to find their Pub URL and copy it across. At the same time, point out to them in the Getting Started Guide the URL which will take them to the Pub Hub. Last, but by no means least, we come to first look. Set the expectation that your new team member has a look through it in the coming week and maybe select something that they would be comfortable demonstrating, just exactly as you have done with them today. With any earning opportunity, everyone wants to know how much that they can earn. Goal setting isn't rocket science, it's just about listening again to what your new team member is saying. However, you can control the conversation with some open-ended questions. Get the goal right and everyone's happy. You can leave confident that you're going to get a first order and your team member knows how much that they can expect to earn at the end of the campaign. But rather than me tell you how to do it, why don't we see it in action? OK, Ros, tell me a little bit more about this goal of yours. We're going to a wedding this summer, David, of a very dear family friend, and I would love to be able to go out and buy an outfit for all four of us and not worry about it and not think, oh, credit card bill, it's on the doorstep. 
fantastic. I mean, you sounded so excited before when you were telling me about it. Big stately home. Oh, beautiful. Well, let's just see. Let's just pop that gold yep. back down again there. And I think you remember me, you were telling me that the cost was going to be around about 300 That's what I'd like to think I could get away with, yeah. OK, so £300. Pop that down there next to your goal. OK, let's see about getting you started to reach your goal. OK. So, um, how many people do you think you could visit um, between now and that time? In the village? In the village, yeah. yeah. I would like to think, um, probably with everything else that's going on this week, about 30 homes. OK, that's absolutely perfect. Let me just explain how we could do that. Um, 15 brochures, take them out, mm -hmm. drop them to the homes, OK, and pick them up on Wednesday. Yep. OK. When you pick them up on Wednesday, take out a fresh water slip with you. Yep. Change them over. So not actually bring the brochure nope, back here? not at all. Change it over and then you could get the book straight back out and okay. pick those up again on Monday. All it does, Ros, is it stops you having to come home, redress the brochures and take them back out again. That makes sense. OK, just a little tip. Yep. When you actually give the brochure out, mm -hmm. put an extra couple of order slips in there because they might show it to their friends. OK. OK, that just expand a little bit more. Mm -hmm. OK, how yep. does that sound for you there? That's fine. So I put 30 in this one here? Yep, put 30 in that one there. Okay. okay. So, from the 30 that you've done that, we've used up 15 brochures, that leaves us five. So, presumably friends and family. Absolutely. Yep, I've got the nail salon. You've got the nail salon. Um, cubs. Yep, cubs. Mentioned about the cubs. Yeah. Uh, where else did we say? Coffee shop. Coffee shop, Debbie. Yeah. Yep, that's fine. Okay. okay. And I've been thinking about the two work areas. All right. Maybe instead of the printed brochure, yeah. I'm thinking I could email Pob. Most definitely. The personal online brochure is absolutely fantastic. It's a tool really where people can access it 24-7. OK. And we tend to find they order a little bit more. So, yeah, brilliant. That's absolutely fantastic Sounds like there. good news. It is great news. OK, so moving down to the next part here. Yep. With the brochures and the personal online brochure, mm -hmm. how many people do you think you might be able to get that shown to? I would say, David, that with the mums at the Cubs yep. and nursery, etc., so on, um, I'll probably give them a brochure. I'll get Pob emailed through my work, through Phil's. I'd like to think probably about 20 from there. Got Coffee Shop, Debbie. Yeah. OK. So if we pop 20 down there. Mm -hmm. That gives us 50. Absolutely. In potential customers. OK. OK, no problems at all. So with the 50 there, how would it be if you aim for perhaps 10 purchasing customers out of those 50? That sounds fine, David, because I am a bit pushed for time. Uh, yeah, OK. So, that's, yeah. that's not a problem at all on that. So, with your 10 people there, now mm -hmm. the average order at the moment is about £10. That's likely to increase. OK. So, you've got £10 average order. Yep. Potential 10 customers. OK. And that comes to your potential earnings of... So, it's £100 worth of sales. Absolutely um, correct. Can you remember which discount you're on? For that? 20%. Absolutely. So that's £20 just for this week, yeah? Just for this week. OK. OK. So there we are. So we've gone through the list from there. You can see your potential earnings of the £20. Mm -hmm. And don't forget, Ros, this is only week one. Mm -hmm. I'm so confident with the homes that you've got coming. Yeah. You've got a fantastic uh, customer list there. OK. That we can actually get you from the 20% discount up to the 25% discount. So that could potentially become £25. Exactly. And over three weeks? 75 which is a quarter of my goal. Exactly that. So much closer to that gorgeous lot of outfits you want. How does that sound? Sounds amazing. Brilliant. Something else on the page here. Smart. The free items. Absolutely right. Yep. That comes under the smart start. Mm -hmm. So when you reach a particular level, which I'm sure you will do, you've then the option of getting those free items. OK. How does that sound? That sounds even better. Excellent. Free items and earnings. Fantastic. Win-win. As we've said before, by taking the time to goal set using Avon best practice, David is confident to leave Roz. He knows that she understands how many customers and sales she needs to find in the coming week, but also what's in it for her, earnings and smart start rewards. By now, you've shared quite a bit of information with your new team member. Rather than there be any confusion for the coming week, this part of the call allows you to give direction as to what they should be doing next. Ask them who's going to be their first customer. 
Gain commitment by getting them to write down a name in the space provided. Agree a mutual date and time as to when you return for the first order call. Avon best practice guidelines are for no longer than a week, unless the first order is due in before this time. If there are any training sessions being held locally, these can be written down on the space provided. As an idea, also listed on this page is what will be needed for the first order call. Don't forget to point this out. Now for a vital piece of information, order and delivery dates. Without these, everyone's a bit lost. Guide your new team member to the table where they can write this information down. You'll remember when we met at the start of this training, I said that there were some common pages in the three books. Here's another one. Now's a chance for you to use both your listening and your selling skills. Think back to the informal chat you had with your team member at the very start, the pre-interview. If they wanted to earn a lot of money, then tell them a little bit more about sales leadership. Remind yourself of how many names they ticked on page 9 to share the Avon opportunity with. Unless you've picked up on some really strong buying signals, don't oversell the sales leadership at this point. Purely use the same techniques displayed by David with Roz, where he generated some names with her. These can then be referred back to on the first order call. However, even if your team member hasn't displayed strong buying signals, you can still let them know Avon has another earning opportunity, which you can discuss at another date. The same with the President's Club, sometimes it's just about making people aware of things without overwhelming them. Here is where your team member will be able to record contact information for you and the courier, should you have it to hand. Highlight to them the number for Fast Track, which is available 24-7. Don't forget to go through the checklist towards the bottom of the page, giving clarification that nothing's been missed. Another common page in the three calls, top tips. Highlight these and you'll be ensuring your team member really is set for success. Hopefully by now you're feeling well equipped to go out and conduct a best practice appointment. If not, watch again. And again, and again. Practice makes perfect.